I'm Sri Luce Rusna and I'm a jewelry designer and the founder of Tulola and this is Lamori House. Come and take a peek at our paradise. So my husband and I have been uh, designing houses for the last 15 years um, and so this project is sort of a culmination of all of our favorite things from a lot of the projects that we worked on and a lot of things that we've been inspired by. So when we were designing the house, we split the house into two parts. So there's the entertaining and social parts of the house, and then there's also parts of the house that are very private um, and more like sanctuary, where, where we spend our daily life. Um, and so right here, this is the ballet. It's enter, uh, the center of all of our entertaining, because we like to entertain a lot. Um, and also the joglo, which is our guest house. Um, and in these two spaces, we sort of wanted to blend um, sort of traditional craftsmanship uh, with a little bit of a contemporary modern uh, twist to it uh, and yeah this is our entertaining space. So this Bali actually um, was inspired by, uh, I grew up in Ubud um, and this was inspired by uh, Linda Garland's house in Yopuning and one of the things that I loved about her house um, and being in that space when I was little were these open spaces with these beautiful like linen curtains and so we kind of brought that in here kind of like a, a tribal ethnic feel and that was something that we wanted to sort of emphasize with the design of the of the ballet one of our favorite parts about this house um, is all the little craftsmanship details and one of those things is the tile so this tile uh, we sourced in Jogja so they're cement tiles um, but we hand cut them and hand laid them so that you can get this beautiful pattern and and uh, another element that we really love is the brickwork um, and you can find it throughout the house um, and one of those places is in our entranceway and so it's sort of a traditional Balinese a geometric motif and so we've brought those into the entranceway and also into the bathrooms. So this is our living room and kitchen um, and one really important feature for us was that we could have these spaces together because uh, we spend most of our time here. Um, we cook all of our meals here and we hang out with our family here so it's both our relaxing time and also our busy times are in this space. Um, and one thing that we wanted to do was to be able to close off the room and, and put on air conditioning so that we could stay nice and cool during the hot season. Um, and one other thing that we wanted to do in this space was that we wanted to have this step down in the kitchen so that we could have normal seating, uh, dining seating at our counters so that we can have sit and relax and enjoy our meals. So this is the master bedroom and one of the things that we wanted to keep in mind when designing this space was to make sure it was really light and really airy and so it's an eastern facing bedroom so we get the morning sunlight coming in. Um, and another feature that was important for us was to have a very generous size bed. Uh, so this is actually double king and so that we can fit all the family members and all the friends, uh, kids, friends, all on the bed. So this is the master bathroom and it's a very generous size space and we have his and her sinks and our favorite feature about the bathroom is this bathtub. So it's in its own little enclave and it overlooks the garden. So you can sit here and have a look at all the beautiful uh, plants outside. So one of our favorite things about this bathroom is the double shower. So it's really generous and big and it connects straight onto the walk-in wardrobe. So we have a vanity here with lots of shelving space and all the wardrobe space. So this is her side and his side and it connects right through to the children's room. And uh, this was one thing, a design feature that was important for us that the uh, kids room could also connect to the, uh, to the masters so that when we want to have a sense of privacy we can close the doors but then also if we want to keep an ear out that we can just open up the doors between the kids and the parents room.
So this is the Juglo and this is our guest house and it is a uh, reclaimed antique Javanese Juglo and so these are all like the original pillars that come up here um, and so we've whitewashed the wood to make it a little bit lighter and we chose this very traditional orange cement tile from Jogja. My favorite part of the space is the bathroom and we kind of wanted to do sort of like an outdoor sort of jungle themed uh, bathroom and so this is the guest bathroom and we used a lot of uh, brickwork here to just bring in the warmth. Thank you Bali Interiors for coming and looking at our home and I hope you've enjoyed this peak in paradise.